Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to download NIME in your Windows environment. So NIME is a low-code data science and data preparation platform that makes understanding data and designing analytical workflows accessible to everyone. The NIME, suit, the NIME suit includes two tools, NIME Analytics Platform, which is a desktop-based tool where analysts and developer, developers construct workflows, and NIME Server, which is a basically enterprise software designed for team-based collaboration, automation, management, and deployment of workflows. So as a company, NIME is dedicated to creating an accessible and open source tool, and to that end, NIME Analytics Platform is free for anybody to download and use. However, do not let the cost fool you. NIME is a full featured and incredible powerful tool for building data prep workflows of any level of any complexity. Whether you need to connect to Excel files, a Snowflake database, process audio files, analyze image or build an interactive dashboard, NIME can do it. Every day that we use NIME, whether for a client project or personal education, we learn something new and exciting about the tool. Using NIME is incredibly easy. To know more about the details of the NIME platforms, you can just come and type www.nime.com and you can enter the first site. This site will give you details about NIME and how to use it. Basically, NIME is a drag and drop interface, has a drag and drop interface which allows developer to connect to the data, uh, data, perform manipulations and calculations, create interactive visualization. As you can see in this uh, photo, these are basically considered nodes and create inter interactive visualization and much more without any need for coding so that's important that it is very code free sort of tools where you just need to drag and drop things nodes or nodes and you can just get the work work done you can however code in python r java javascript or css with nime if you want so this was about nime so let's just get started so as I just mentioned, you, if you want to know more about NIME, you can just enter www.nime.com. So if you want to download NIME, so you can see that there is a download button here. So you have to just click download and it will take you to this page. Now in this page, you have to enter your details. So let me just enter my details. So after you have entered your data, you can just click download here. And it takes you to this page. Now you have to select your browser. You can select nine analytics platform for Windows. So you have to just click this link. If you have a Linux platform, you can download the Linux version and or if you have a Mac, so you can download it accordingly. So I'm just going to download this. So I click download here. And so now the downloading process has begun. So let's just wait till this process get over and I'll come back. Yeah. Now you can see the download has finished and the installer is in your download folder. Now you have to double click on the installer. And let's just wait. So during the process it may ask you for the privilege permission so you have to grant it so now this appears this is the license now you have to click i accept the agreement then you have to click next it asks you to for a destination where you want to install nine so let me just give my destination so i've given the destination i'll be downloading my local dst now i'll click next now you have to i would say uh, it uh, just let uh, remain all the check boxes checked so that uh, they will be might be useful when you will be performing some various functions so i would suggest you to just keep it as default do not uncheck any of these other than this create a sh uh, desktop shortcut if you don't want it so you can just uncheck it otherwise keep all the tools keep all this checked now you have to click next Okay, it asks for this number it says specify the maximum amount of memory 90 minutes perform can used during execution the amount should be at least between this this is so you should be uh, like by yourself you can like allocate the amount of memory that you want nine to take when executing some tasks so basically by default it it took 4018 
you can even uh, specify your number just you just you need to make sure that the number should be between 512 and 8036 so i'll just let it uh, as remain uh, to keep it as default so i'll just I'll let it be 4018 now I'll click next okay now making the install directory uh, will perform as administrator but it will be restricted because so i'll just keep it as default i won't make any changes enable log paths and now i'll click install and it has started installing so make sure to even check the version we are using currently 4.71 there are also some other versions available so you can check it while it is being, down, being downloaded you can see the pricing also this software also comes with different pricing different versions so we have individual team basic and standards and accordingly there are various functionalities which can be performed by the highest paid version compared to the free version so you can compare over here okay so the downloading process has completed now launch another process now we'll click finish now your man is version is okay it's february 7 build 2023 okay it's the currently latest version it's Okay, now it asks for a workspace like it, it requires basically a workspace where it will be saving your all the works that will do it will be saving the form of workspaces and it, it will containing all your files that you're working on or it will also contain your all the workflows so you need to specify it so I can just browse it and keep it uh, let me just keep it to let's keep it again to where I have downloaded in the, uh, the D drive so I've selected the folder now finally I'll launch I'll have click launch okay, starting uh, okay so it is asking to whether you want to share the uh, data I would click no because I do not want it okay so this is the interface of the nine it contains various sections you can see so the first section is the NIME Explorer which will definitely going to con contain your all the files workflows that you're working on it has example workflows so you can see basic example customer intelligence retail so this particular section contains all the workflows or any sort of examples that you're working on next is next is the workflow coach Okay, so it won't be available because it contains all the so if I click workflow coach helps you build your workflows more efficiently by searching the next most likely node for your workflow okay so basically node is the uh, particular unit that can take on the data process something and give certain thing as an output so that is particular uh, node so if you have a suppose for example MS Excel node so what it will do it will take some data the data flow will be shown and it will give some sort of output and that's how uh, and that output can be used as an input for another node so basically it is the process so you can just set up a uh, set up it so workflow coach gives you the so it will just suggest you that what ne next node should be so you can just click it and in this is the node repository like you can select various nodes over here like if i want to select workflow control loop support so these are the meta nodes nodes are also available so you can see it is basically the node repository it will contain all types of node and this is basically in the center is the uh, graph the, where you can generate any sort of nodes here so i have just created like open node nodes like i just created so you can see there is a default node so you can see that in this csv reader this is the node you can see the highlighted portion so the CSV data set it contains CSV data set so you can see that CSV data set has been fetched to the D data preprocessing node which contains these two nodes column filter and row filter this column filter is basically if you select it so it gives you an output like this 
like it contains row id product exclude and what to include so you can just drag it over here just i want card so i can just type it over here so it will be in the included section uh, included section so just like you want from the data set what columns you want to select or not so you can just directly select that particular node and you know you can add your functionality what you want and what you not want so you can uh, uh, like manually set up your node here so you can see that this node has been connected with this node with this arrow so this shows that this data is this data has been fit fetch fit to this particular node and the function will perform here and this is how you can see the task okay so this is about the basically where the you can and you can even like drag and drop the nodes so if you have a node so you can just like simply drag it and drop it here so you can like just simply drag and drop here so you see it has come to be if you want to shorten you can just control plus and if you want to delete it you can just right click and you can delete the node and if you want a node so you can just type have a node here any sort of node you can just okay yeah so this is how you know the, you can perform the major function here and this is the console part like it will give you an error so like whatever function you do it will just give you an error so you can see uh, here like i have performed something and it gives me an error like column country has no nominal values so this console part gives you it about uh, you know the functions and output is basically like gives you an error or some sort of an output window and you can even select here node monitor which is the basically monitors your node so whatever node you can select so it will just if i have selected this column filter so you can like monitor your node it currently says node not executed because i haven't no, I've, i haven't run it yet so you can like configure it here and you can just monitor that node like what sort of output it is going to generate and finally this is there is a description finally there is a description window where you can see all the description regarding a particular node and like if you select one particular node so the information about that particular node will be given in the right side like the description to the node how you can use it how you can uh, see so basically this is about the naime interface and yeah hope you would have enjoyed the video it's a really interesting tool and i'm looking forward that if you have any doubts you can just type it in the comment section and yeah that is it so hope you will enjoy the video thank you that's